What's up guys, this is Project and welcome back to another Mystic Summon and Moonlight Summon session. Uh, Luna's not out, as you can see Cece's up, but uh, they changed the lolly. The lolly's here instead of Basar. I did summon DJ Basar on this account. Unfortunately though, it reset my, uh, my pity limit, so now I'm back at 200. Square one, so... I don't really have hopes for summoning anything like a 5 star today, but I kind of want this guy, Troublemaker Crozette. He's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, he can save off some of the damage, and I'll go into the skills if we do get him. Uh, but until then, I do got 30 Moonlight Summons, so we'll do that first, and then uh, just in case if I get uh, May Chloe from Moonlight Summons. But first, Daily Summon. So this will be after the Luna summon video on my third account. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And yeah, watch this one too. <laughs> so here we go. 30 summons, that's six Moonlight summons. And then uh, we'll spend a couple. Eh, I'll probably spend all of them on May Chloe. I don't really mind. I kind of want Crozette just for fun, just to have it. Uh, and since it's been a dry spell, a month and a half dry spell of no actual cool units to summon from... Uh, this thing i actually went crazy and i i went so crazy because we didn't have anything so i spent bookmarks on cc which was a dumb idea so i'm down 300 bookmarks there for nothing uh but anyways moonlight summons let's go so we got a three star eton would be cool i don't have him yet eton the new uh golem three star moonlight hero he's light he's also kind of like crozette in a way a unit that will stave off some of the damage to your other uh, more DPS threats. Uh, so nice, two three stars off the bat. We'll take the soul roll. Why not? Um, I'm not gonna be salty because I have three MLs on this account as free to play. So oh, double Wanda. I can be salty about that though. Screw you, Smog. <laughs> Come on. Oh, purple. Can we get an ML five? RB or MLK? Uh, four star Crozet. Maybe Crozet. Oh, nice! Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Sweet. So maybe I won't do Mystic Summons. Because <laughs> I don't really care about May Chloe because Spez is going to be everywhere now. In the higher tiers. And that kind of makes May Chloe teams kind of trash. Because um, he's going to be popping your DPS, BBKs and stuff. But nice. Troublemaker Crozet. Reckless, he's a knight, Doc Pisces. Hmm, I guess we have to go here for his skills. Uh, oath of Protection, swears an Oath of Protection, dispelling all debuffs from the caster and one ally, before increasing defense for three turns. I'm assuming that just means his. And he also grants class enhancement to the ally for three turns. I actually don't know what this does. Um, we'll check that out later, but yeah. Weird, uh, weird skill. Oath of Protection, five turns. Four turns with uh, Molagora. S2 is a passive. Receives 20% of the damage suffered by the ally in the back row in their place. So, sort of like SSB, Seaside Bologna. But she uh, takes damage off herself and transfers it to the front row. He does the opposite. So, kind of cool. Only the highest damage, di only highest damage distribution effect will be applied. Has a 35% chance to counterattack. When the ally is in the back row. This is why he's going to be strong. Because he's going to stave off up to 40% damage from your back row. So, Arby, you know. Good luck one-shotting my Moonlight Blade Arby, Spez. Uh, yeah, I don't have Arby, so unfortunately. But yeah, cool. Chivalry. Really freaking strong skill. 35% counterattack. If you give him Elbrius, that's what? 55% chance to counterattack? On AoE? Or... Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be pretty strong. And then Pledge Guard attacks the enemy with an eight, uh, act of faith, with a twenty five percent chance to stun for one turn and deals damage proportional to his health. So you probably want to build him lots of HP, and that can increase by sixty percent. So total, hmm, what is that? A hundred percent chance to stun if you soul burn for one soul. So very cool. We got him, boys. We got him. Third summon. Let's keep going. Fourth summon now. I'll drop 10 summons on, on Chloe. If nothing, you know, we'll stop the video there. 
And Doris. Oh! Please be a 5 star. That isn't Emma Ara, MLCC, and Basar. Upgrade! 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 No! Did an upgrade. Grips and Armin. You're nerfed. Come on! <gasps> Come on! This is the one. This is the one. Feel the hero journal? No? 5 star. No! No 5 star. But... And that is all the that is all the Moonlight Summons. God dang it! That sucks. Two Armins and two Wandas, and then one Chad. <laughs> the Mystic Summons! May Chloe! So one, two, three, Rin, four, five. I would like Ludwig too. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go, Chloe! Lucky Chloe. Lowick? Oh, border coin. I think we're done, right? Yeah, we're done. So that is it for the video. Yay! We got we got Troublemaker Closet. That's cool. Let's go check out his skills and see how they look like. I haven't even checked them out yet. So here are his skills. Let's see the S3. My own justice. justice. I will fight until the bitter end. Hmm. This one seems like he grants a barrier. Did that say class enhancement? Oh, it says right there. The warrior ranger mage increased critical hit resistance. Knight soul weaver barrier. Interesting. Critical hit resistance. So that's like Diana's uh, S3 buff. So that's 50% 50% uh, minus crit chance. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay. And his S2 is just a passive, so... And he just has a uh, normal Crozet animation. Who let these guys off their leashes? Who let these guys off their leashes? This sword is the only thing in this world I trust. That's a long line, bro. I will not lose! I will not lose! For Destina! Let's fight. Let's fight. Cool. Cool. I'll raise him up, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can make a video about him. But uh, not really a high priority unit, but very, very cool. This time, I'm going to be on my poor account and try to get made Chloe, because I have nothing to do on this account. I six-starred my Lilius about a week or two ago, and yeah, I've been just sitting on dogs with nothing else to work on. So I figured since I have some mystics and Melissa, the new vampire lady, isn't out to about two weeks from now, I figured why not try for the maid Chloe with my Mystic Summons. As you can see, I did spend some summons on Luna to try to get Draco Plate, but unfortunately I did not, so I stopped there. But yeah, we're going to be summoning for maid Chloe, a light Soul Weaver hero that revives your team. And also Trevor Maker Cosette, but I already summoned him on Mei Mei Chupa, so I don't really need him. Well, I could use him, but yeah, his S2 is really powerful, really powerful skill. Yeah, we're going to try to get May Chloe and hopefully get a better defense team because my defense team sucks balls. <laughs> I have BBK ungeared because I put my BBK gear on Judge Kise after I got Judge Kise. So I figured both of them together would be good on defense. But hopefully we can get lucky and even get her to begin with. So come on, Smilegate. Let's go. I'm going to slow roll these just because I have a feeling. I have a feeling I'm going too fast. The Luna, after Luna summons, I'm just spamming click all the time. Let's go slow. And hopefully get the Maid Chloe. Or at least Troublemaker Cosette. Either one of those are cool. I have Lowig, so I don't really need them. And I also have Border Coin, so I don't need that either. Um, Terranor Guard, though. Really good free-to-play unit for new players. Definitely try to get that guy and build him up for your Wyvern team. Really great defense breaker, especially after the Stigma... Stigma rework, or the Molagora rework for three stars. You can just use Stigma to upgrade their skills. Well, and Catalyst, but you can farm that, whatever. But so far, nothing nothing really good here. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade! Nothing. Alexa, though, another free-to-play Wyvern unit. Definitely try to get her. If you don't get Lena, 
she's going to be your main DPS for Wyvern. Really powerful with Joker because she can attack twice with her S1. Which will trigger Joker twice, which does like 20k plus. With, you know, a good amount of crit damage, 250 plus. Ascending Axe. Lots of three stars. Hmm. Can we get at least one gold? No? Jeez. Alright, we gotta change channels. This ain't working. 125? Nah. Let's try channel 3. Yeah. Channel 3, where all the talkers are. Man, this guy's summon Ruel. Cobalt. Hopefully this channel's better, though. Come on, man, Chloe. Don't suck all my mystics away, please. Because... We won't get the next ML5 until next month, right? So... I figured if I can't get May Chloe, at least I'm getting closer to the pity summon for whoever's next. Alexa. No four stars. Oh, 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 here we go. Come on. Come on, May Chloe. Come on. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Yes. May Chloe. Oh, yeah. Yes. Super maid. A clueless queen of a maid cafe. I want to visit that cafe. She's really cute. I like her design. And her hair. Nice color too. So we got May Chloe. GG's. But she is a soul weaver. Light Virgo. And her only purpose. Her only worth is her S3. Which revives her team. And gives them an attack buff for three turns. And if they're already dead. She revives your team. Whoever's dead. And then she puts a buff on whoever is still alive. Her S2 kind of sucks. It just health and then stun for S1. Uh, that sucks too. Hopefully she gets like a, an extra buff or something uh, on the S1 or like, you know, exclusive equipment. But yeah, her only worth is her S3, which is a five turn cooldown. Revives her team. Really good on defense. And could be good in auto as well um, for attacking. So nice. We got to make Chloe. And now back to 200 summons left for the next pity. <laughs> but that's okay. I got three MLs on this account. They're all light, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. Either way. But we saved our Mystics. So we can start saving up for the next ML next month. And hopefully get that one too. But yeah, let's go uh, Let's go check her out. May Chloe. Starting to build a lot of MLs on this account. Sage, Judge Kisei... And now, May Chloe, all light heroes. All light heroes. But, what a turnaround, huh? A whole year with no MLs, and then the past three to four months, I start getting MLs. Unlike Vidra. So, uh, yeah, that's May Chloe. Thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for today's summoning video. Make sure to go check out my Luna guide in the end screen annotations, as well as my other summoning video for Luna on my new third account. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be start making more guides as soon as I start building these units up. So, look forward to that by smashing that like button and subscribing for more Epic 7 epicness.